I gotta tell you, I'm kind of feeling him. His text game is strong, you know, complete sentences, excellent grammar, punctuation, some cheesy jokes though. The one about the guitar and the fish made me laugh out loud. <laughs> Wait, how did you read that? I can see everything on the app. That will always be weird. Are you ready for your date? Hold on. Whew. Jackson is in the waiting room, and I have double-checked to make sure that he is fully dressed, so we are good to go. Is that your actual job, or did you just do that for me? Actual job. We have a no nudity policy, so I have to double check to make sure that everyone is clothed before sending them into a video chat. How many dicks have you seen? Ah, oh, many. Too many to count. <laughs> Any vaginas? None. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Cool. I am as ready as I will ever be for the date. You can send them in. Enjoy. And I am here if you need anything. I'm just a code phrase away. Okay. Do you have your finger on the camera? Because I can't actually see you. Oh, yeah. Um, you can't. That's because uh, the, the lights are off. Oh, okay. So there's a thing called a light switch. If you just want to <laughs> flick it on. Oh, a light switch. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. I'm sorry. God, this, I didn't think this through, obviously. This must seem so weird. Well, your voice is sexy, so I was hoping to have a face that goes along with it. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights on, but um, there's, there's something you should know. Look, whatever it is, I promise I will not judge you, unless you're naked. I'm not naked, so don't worry. Okay, okay. Um, the thing is, I'm in the closet. Hey, Kaylee, don't you look gorgeous? Most of my clients don't show up so done. The beautiful red lipstick for sessions. Thank you. I feel so honored. <laughs> there is actually a reason why. Okay. Tell you. So I've been thinking a lot about what we talked about in our last session. And, you know, I had the realization that I have been disconnected from my femininity. Ah. Which again was reinforced when I had a little lingerie night with my girlfriends over video chat, and I realized I didn't know where my lingerie was, and it was in a box in the far corner of my garage under years of cobwebs. Do not jump into something serious and put all of your sexually frustrated eggs into one dick basket. You need to explore your options. You need to have some much needed fun. You need to get F-U-C-K-E-D 10 ways till Sunday and again on Monday. I just had the worst thought, you guys. What if we never get out of quarantine and climate change kills all of us and I never get to have sex again? What if the last sex I ever get to have was with Kyle? before he left me. That's tragic. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Dan and I have only had sex three times since March, which actually sounds worse now that I've said it out loud. Anyway, what I'm saying is that the grass is not always greener on the other side, okay? Sometimes the grass is like dry and dusty with like little crusty bits on the edges. Oh, girl, I think you gotta go see a gynecologist about that. Hey, Tori. Yeah. Quick question for you. Okay. So it was lingerie night, and yet you are all bundled up in a terry cloth robe. What's going on? A, it's not terry cloth. How dare you? I am dressed in the finest chenille. B, uh, you guys look great. So congratulations. No, no, no. Okay. Here's the thing. 
clearly you need to practice doing the little strip tease for us so that you can turn off video chat, go get Dan, bring him in that sexy room of yours and let it all hang out for him and get to number four. Number four. 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 Maybe four. sexy time number 69, but let's start with four. Show us those bows. Woo! I've spent most of quarantine in sweats and a mom bun. Uh, so I think now trying to connect to my feminine again, I think the first thing I did was something very superficial, which I will admit to, but it was about, you know, putting on red lipstick, actually blow drying my hair, putting on a little mascara, just trying to feel sexy. And this is what did that for me. Good. So what did the red lipstick awaken in you, love? I think I've spent a long time thinking that by being a mom, mm. that's what makes me feminine. Mm. Mm. That's a common misperception. Moms are do, do, doers, very masculine. The Kelly and Zoe Show. You've had a very difficult day in this house. She has cried and tantrumed before every single one of her online preschool classes. And it's been just a daily struggle. My name is Zoe. And, and I'm a little, I mean, a lot sad about the germs. And I just want to play with my kids my like friends and stuff and i want to be at our table and stuff and i can't really go there because the germs the virus yeah what'd you say <laughs> why would you take your underwear off because it was wet <laughs> can you put some new underwear on i don't want to <laughs> Especially now being a single mom, as I know you can relate to, I have to be in my masculine energy so often with her because I'm both parents and yeah. I'm going to, you know, have structure and rules and discipline. I have to be in that alpha male energy. Mm. And so being a mom has not been about being feminine, right? Mm. And, and so the red lipstick, when I put it on, it made me feel sexy. It made me feel like a woman. It reminded me of how I felt the last time I was dating in my 20s. Mm. And I know that it's just obviously cosmetic and that there's a lot of inner work that we're going to be doing together. But, you know, I just wanted to show you today that I am really trying to embody the lessons I learned from last week. Gold star. <laughs> Great job. I think it's beautiful. I love that it's waking up this dormant femininity within you. So everything that's taking us in that direction is perfect. I just want to tweak a little bit of what you just said about trying to wake up your feminine. What does Yoda say? Do or do not do. There is no try, right? So when we try, we're coming from lack. We're almost giving ourselves a back door. Well, I'll try, you know, but if it doesn't work, you know, we make excuses or we blame ourselves. So there's a different way to do it. And I want you to say this for me. I choose to reconnect with my feminine. Say it that way and then tell me what that, how that's different. Okay. I choose to reconnect with my feminine. Yeah. What's different? How's that feel? It felt like I was being more definitive about it and yeah. that it was more of a, a commitment to it. Yes. A lot of us are afraid to choose because what if we fail? Well, just because we choose, we're going to fail. We're going to fall down and we're going to get back up again. It's not about perfection. It's about a commitment to never give up on ourselves. Mm. Yeah, that's really hard for me as a perfectionist. I don't like failing. I know. At all, uh, which honestly is why I almost gave up completely on online dating this week. And then the dating app tech felt so guilty about putting me in the wrong room with the wrong Omar that she offered to be my guardian angel and help me from behind the scenes on all my future dates. 
And by the looks on all your faces, this sounds completely crazy. I literally have no words. And I always have uh, the words, all the words. I have the best words. I just can't stop thinking about poor Omar. I can't get him off my mind. He had these beautiful, crystal clear blue eyes that pierced into my soul. Oh my God, you have to show us the screenshot of him. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Because that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life and I don't want to relive it. And um, meeting up with someone in real life, it's a question of life and death and I just can't risk it. Uh, I, did you just take a screenshot? No. There are like giant red flags waving you down and you cannot ignore them this time. No. You do ignore red flags. Like the Bloody Mary guy, the one that had him every single morning. Yeah, but to be fair, I just thought he really liked tomato juice. And then I realized half the glass was filled with vodka. Honey, you live, you learn, you stop dating alcoholics. Cheers to that. Salut. Mm. I mean, it's okay though if they're in recovery, right? No, red flag, red flag. I know. Okay, it has to be like a year in, a Ugh. year in. Ugh. Okay, here's the thing though. Yes, I'm hearing all of you, especially Tori, about the red flags, but there were some major positives, like how strictly quarantined he is, guys. He has not seen another human being in real life since March. How is that positive? Well, obviously it's incredibly sad and he's very lonely and that's terrible. But for me and the idea of dating him, it was kind of a huge turn on. I mean, if that's your kink. Okay, I am not some sadist who is getting off on this poor guy being all alone with no human contact. During the before times, when I dated, ancient history, a long time ago, I was always looking for someone who was geographically desirable. Because let's face it, ladies, if you live in Sherman Oaks, you're not dating someone in Venice Beach. Am I mm. right? Okay, mm. so now I'm looking for someone who is quarantine compatible. Omar and I have similar rules about our lockdown and that is super attractive. Okay, I can get behind that. I'm back on Team Omar. No. No, it sounds like he's just not gonna wanna actually meet you in person. Omar the Hermit is not going to be visiting Bone Town anytime soon. So I made a choice not to tell my date that I'm a divorced single mom. Okay. And I think it's really because I have a fear that I will be less desirable if they know that about me. Oh, sweetie, I understand. I totally understand. You want to lead with your the best. However, um, I want you to really get something. When we date online, the majority of people are not going to be a fit for us. So rejection is protection. But what we really want to begin focusing on is our authentic self. If we show up with shame and sprinkles on top, what are we vibrationally going to attract? Someone else who's hiding something. Okay, so what I really want you to get is to be brave and authentically show up as exactly who you are and who you're not, because out there, there is a match. Someone who wants a single mom, someone who wants to be a father, someone who wants exactly you. The thing is, I'm in the closet. Okay. So there are two meanings to that sentence. and I'm not sure which one you're trying to tell me. I'm literally inside my actual closet. I see that now. 
you have a nice and large closet. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but why are you in it? I guess I didn't really want to get into this so soon on a first date, but um, here we go. I'm a dad. And if I need five minutes of privacy, it's really only the closet or the bathroom. And so I chose closet. I'm a single mom. You're, you are? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, great. Okay, so you get it. I 100% understand. I spend at least half the day hiding from my child. <laughs> at least. <sighs> so, Zoe, our quarantine life. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Two. And uh, let me tell you, between working from home and distance learning, it has been... Hell on earth. Oh, God, that's an understatement. The amount of times I've heard the sentence, can I have a snack? <gasps> it's astronomical. The amount of food I make this child is insane. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Let me guess. You want a snack? Yes! She will literally eat a snack. She will finish the snack and a breath later ask me for another snack. Yes, yeah, exactly. I, it, it must, kids are all universal, I guess, because it's the exact same thing here. If you don't completely embrace who you are, the, the magnificent and the wobbly, and come home into complete unconditional love with you, you can't vibrationally attract someone who's going to unconditionally love you. So this is our next step of inner work. Yeah, I guess I, I just keep having this thought replay in my mind, which is your damaged goods. Mm -hmm. Who's going to want you? You couldn't do it the first time. Why is someone going to think you couldn't do it with them? So the part of you, the little you that feels like she's damaged goods, that's who we have to go towards and love her as she is. Not try to fix her and make her all perfect, but to understand she has every right to feel that way and to heal her so you can come home to being exactly who you are and no longer look for, am I good enough? From the ones on the outside. No longer seek our worth from the approval of a man and instead approve of you 100%. Having a bit of an identity crisis moment, I've always thought that I loved myself. But as you're talking, I'm realizing that I, I really only loved the parts of myself that I felt good about yeah. and not the flaws and not the things that I keep pushing away. And so that meant that I would seek that validation, that acceptance, that love from others to fill that void that I was leaving inside of myself. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to, that's a, that's a really big, it just feels like I haven't been honest with myself my whole life. This is a fucking emergency. This is a fucking emergency. I'm sounding the pussy alarm. You both need to get into contact with Sam Fisher and get your sexy back. Ugh, ugh, sending the alarm. Right, so that is a phenomenal fucking idea. Sam Fisher has virtual classes right now. Perfect for you, Kaylee. Do it. Dude, sweet spot life online. Game changer. Do you guys remember when we went to see Kaylee's first pole dancing showcase? And I sat in the front row. Girl, we cheered like proud moms when you climbed all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, those were the days when I had thigh strength and upper body strength and just strength in general. So here's my invitation, okay? It's a bold one. Yeah. Today is the last day. We're drawing a line in the sand. No more ever looking for your worth or your approval from the outside in. Today's the very first day moving forward that you are going to fall madly in love with yourself. Deal? Yeah, uh, I I feel like I have to rewire my brain in order to do that though. You do. And yet the most efficient way to rewire the brain is to first heal the heart. 
the and the body and then the mind will elegantly follow because it's all connected right so i have a, a challenge and assignment and i really would invite you to do some sort of like ritual especially before this next date that you go on some sort of like movement practice or meditation or put some music on as you're getting ready so you you come from fullness from confidence in who i am and who i'm not before your next date It is clearly time for you to reawaken your sensual, erotic beast that is just waiting to be unleashed inside of you. You need to get out of your masculine controlling brain and you need to go back into your feminine, sensual goddess body. And that signature hair flip, work it, show us. Ooh. I gotta hit the beat. <laughs> what is that? That was Destiny. That was so sexy that it turned the music on my phone. <laughs> you need to turn the music on in your own life. you didn't want me to. I just humiliated myself in front of you again. No. Uh, that, was a, that was really beautiful. Oh. Are you a dancer? No. I was trying to do a movement practice to center myself and get in touch with my femininity. You seem pretty feminine to me. Thanks. You are the only person who thinks that. Everyone else keeps telling me that I am stuck in my masculine and that is what is pushing men out of my life. So I'm trying not to do that anymore because I'd rather not die alone. This has just been so nice to get to talk to somebody who understands what I'm going through and not have to hide the fact that I'm a single mom on a first date. I know, I know that that is really nice. That's, yeah. you know, I really, I don't know how long we have before one or probably both of the kids find me. Would it, you be cool exchanging numbers now? I mean, if, if that's too much too soon, I get it. I think that's a really great idea. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, I guess we should put our numbers in the chat? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, never done this before. <laughs> First time for both of us. Oh, crazy. Um, I have to warn you about something, though. So my daughter gets really angry at me when I'm on my phone during the day. So I'm terrible at texting people back. Because apparently the only thing I can focus on is the millionth game of make-believe that we have played during the pandemic. If I have to be a dragon one more time. <laughs> I always have to be the evil villain. She makes me the witch, the troll, the monster. Okay, I think she might be trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in the closet? Oh. Who are you talking to? 
Nicole, hey, perfect timing. Come on in. Uh, join us. Uh, this is Kaylee. Hi. I'm Jackson's wife. I'm really confused. I, I wasn't sure how to tell you. That you're married? And polyamorous. You have multiple wives? <laughs> That's not polygamy. <laughs> That's weird. Because yeah. oh, this feels super normal right now. Huh? Nicole and I are allowed to date outside of our relationship. Uh, I think we might have freaked her out. All right, just give her a minute. I'm sorry. I'm having a really hard time wrapping my mind around this right now. Can I, uh, was everything that just happened a lie? Are you a dad? I, is any of that real? Yes, yes, it is. Um, we have two kids. Uh, we've been married for 12 years. Okay. Holly for two. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nicole actually has a boyfriend who's quarantining with us. Oh, that's nice. I wish I could tell you more about Jackson, but mm -hmm. he is a first timer. He just signed up this week and you know about as much as I do. Hmm. Okay, well, since it sounds like he's going to be a wild card, Maybe we should come up with an exit strategy for me? Sure. Um, we could have a code word or a phrase. And then if you say it, I'll kick the guy off the chat. Okay. Like, it's gotta be something that you wouldn't say in normal conversation. Something like, well, I'm in mean, flamingo. Yeah, I'm totally into girls too, if that's something you're interested in, if you wanna try it out with the both of us. Flaming hot flamingo! Oh, God. Holy shit. I'm freaking out. When the wife walked in, I literally screamed. Right? I thought she was going to catch him cheating. And instead, they lobbed this polyamory grenade at me. What the fuck? Next week will be better, I promise. You can't control who I get matched with. And knowing my luck, I will end up with a serial killer next time. Oh, actually, I think I found a way to override the algorithm so I can choose the match. What? That's interesting. Ah, uh, I don't know. You could get fired for that, couldn't you? I just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be the reason that you get fired. Give me job. one more week. If the date goes off, then you can delete the app and me from your life. Okay. I don't know how you did it, but you convinced me again. My fate is now in your hands. You won't regret it, I promise. Well, I guess we'll see about that. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. He just texted me. Who? The polyamory guy, Jackson. Oh uh, my God, look, look. Uh, don't respond. You are in control. Uh, I don't know what I want. I mean, the attention is nice. It feels nice. It's just, do I want to date a married couple? Do I want to like have a threesome? She has a boyfriend. Is it a foursome? What is it? I don't know. That feels like a lot. I, I haven't even, I mean, this is too much information for you, but I haven't slept with anyone except for my husband, my ex-husband, in over a decade. And now I'm going to jump in to a polyamory situation with four people? I don't know. Hey, oh God, I'm sorry. You are not my therapist. I should not be asking you to listen to me right now. You've gone above and beyond. It's, it's okay. I don't mind. I mean... Are, are you okay? Because it, I, I can hang out with you here a little longer. It, uh, honestly, I, I really enjoy talking to you and it's, I don't really want to return to my job right at the moment, so. <laughs> but I think I just need to decompress, maybe take a long bath. Ugh, I wish I could join you. I mean, not in your bath, I mean, in my bathtub, me alone. I got it. <laughs> Should we leave on the count of three? Sure. One, two, three. Bye. Oh, she's gone. Okay. 
Hold on, I have to stop the video. It's the leave button. Thanks. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars. Not every light is gonna guide you. Not every light is gonna guide you. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a so high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Y'all swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this what I was made for. Man, I know this what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, they do whatever I say so. Have chicks that color of the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank low. Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls. And I'm grinding. Money on my mind. And I'm headed to the top. I won't stop until I find it. Write my name in diamonds. But all these lights are blinding. I wonder is it worth it feel like I'm losing my mind Yeah, remind me Don't be afraid of the dark Be careful with stars Cheers to your dripping Slippery, wet-ass gushies. Woo! Stop, stop, stop. Can somebody please tell me what a gushy is?